Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Hopefully I'm not too loud because I've adjusted some of my sound settings. Uh, and welcome to a beautiful Glasgow Central Railway Station, uh, the northernmost terminus um, of the uh, West Coast Main Line. Today we'll be driving a um, Class 87 horde service um, from here uh, all the way uh, down to it's not all the way down to Carlisle um, with a uh, Class 87 87005 City of London at the rear. Hello, stream today. Have um, one zero fifty one coming in from Preston, which is being hauled by an eighty six. Um, so let's just set up in the tra the train. And in the meantime, um, let me talk about um, what we'll be doing for our journey today. Um, so someone on Instagram had this absolutely brilliant idea um, that we would start in the um, pre-privatisation era of BR, and then as this uh, time in the scenario progresses, we slowly move to the modern age. You'll see what we mean. You see what I mean. Uh, when the uh, scenario progresses. So at the moment you can see here we're in the uh, late 1980s, early 1990s period. We've got um, Strathclyde 314s and 86 hauled services. So in the meantime, let's set up the train. That's all good. Everything is working. Which will crash first? <laughs> Um, this is one of the few scenarios that I've actually been able to test the entire thing, so I can safely say, I can safely say that we will not have a crash or any AI collision today. Alright, as the Mark III door shut, we are now ready for our departure out here of Glasgow Central. As we do so, um, I'm now going to introduce today's guest, uh, JP Royal Photography 2021. Hello. Indeed. Nice to be back. We've been doing a lot of testing at CP Times, so I don't know. He's done lots of testing. I did test last week, I didn't actually manage to test the entire route. I got up to um, just before, it was literally I tested up to just before where the scenario crashed last week. But train simulator AI is a difficult um, skill to master. I'm making this now on the Chatham main line and it's from Long Victoria to David Quarry in A375. Do you want Charlie to do that for us in A375? Definitely quite like to see uh, a 375. We are racing a 314, which is bound for air, which is just um, on the Downing the Clyde lines. It's a 314, of course, and in it's a full run as well. It's a full it's run. Some missing scenery after Faversham, but apart from that, it's fine. Now there is no scenery after Faversham on that route, which is a shame. There is half of it there, but not all of it's complete at the moment. It's just, it's just, it's just green flat land. Mostly of it, but. Quinter Airflog. It's not always that. Are there pendos? Yes, there are pendos. Um, in three, possibly even four different liveries today. I'm not giving away any liveries. That's not giving You're having a laugh for being beaten by a 314 at the moment, that is embarrassing. Well, I can tell you what AI I have added in this one so far. I've added a Southern 377 DAF-1 in South Eastern That will be from Ashford International to Long Victoria I'm going to make it as a 12 car And the other Southern one is popped up in the shed outside Victoria There will be some hundreds unfortunately but <laughs> I just found my pen in my track atlas. I was tempted to use the 319s 
called Space Sound 7s and the open sphinxes relating for Atlan Black Forest to semi episodes but I think Abram would probably prefer um Jan Andres compared to the Elden players and is there prey? Uh I can I can answer that one. Um there will be some freight in this scenario. Um if but if if Stadler's are what you're looking for, then um, unfortunately they're not going to be included in the scenario because that's not the era they're in. It's a nickname I've given the 88s the Stadlers because they are made by Stadler. I think the 68s are made by Stadler as well. Well, they were made by a company that was bought by Stadler. Just gone through Eglinton Street tunnels. Um, yeah. We're diverging off. Stadler well. <laughs> do make the best trains. Your guest is very quiet, is he? Okay, I'll turn him up. Um, unfortunately, if I do turn if I do turn Josh up, then I turn Train Sim up as well. Just making sure everything's not too loud. I'm just going to check if I see sure any attempting to turn hill before it diverges off somewhere. As you get the long black bars to some exercise, I believe. No, no. Yes. Right, we can now accelerate up to 75 miles an hour. I'm not going to overdo it because um, the 87 is a very temperamental locomotive. It's one of the hardest to drive, um, which is why Unless I didn't put it in front. 90. No, 90 is pretty easy to drive. The 87 has got a stupid tap change assist system, so you need to re you need to refresh the throttle every I don't know, like every time it goes into the. Tap change Jacob boy. Well, trailer is, is amazing. I totally agree on that one. Yeah, my trailer took me so, it took me so long. I've been working on it since the end of December. Yeah. It's, it, it, has, it has taken me a very long time, and I've gradually added clips over time. Yeah, like Lincoln, Southampton, all that. And I've got a seven in it. That's not bad. Yeah, but I thought I did think it was a, um, time for a refresh um, of my trailer because my old one is an old one. Pretendolino, indeed. It's good that we're getting lots of um, positive feedback on it. Thank you for all your positive feedback on it, by the way. Greatly appreciated. I can tell you, is that fairly I don't expect my trailer to get to that many views because it's a trailer, it's not like a proper video and that, but... I've just passed Paul Mali Depot, that was where the Pretendolino in the 87 were. Oh yeah, checking if there's any tents in the at um, we also have the suburban lines joining us from Rutherglen and Glasgow Central Low Level, which will be joining us. Um, um, they'll be following us all the way down, and they join us up at Newton. Oh, it's the Northern to the Yes, we do see a service. Hallelujah. Where could the place? 9 Oscar 17, it's going to Sutton. Which way is the Sutton at Hearn Hill? At Hearn Hill, I think it's west. Or southwest. I bought West Coast Main Line South from the Lunar Sale. It's the same price as Transim 2021 Deluxe, so I got the class oh, 68 as well. So it's next to. Uh, 465, 
Yeah, the 68 is a very nice locomotive. The 68 um, Armstrong Powerhouse um, Enhancement Pack is also very, very highly recommended. Um, as soon as that goes on sale, then you get it. It's, it. I do highly recommend it. We're now passing Canvas Slang. I'd quite like to film here sometime because of the nice curves of the pin pendos I'm tilting. Play on the curb. Wait. Split off. See, well, I've seen that. 07, 18. I think I went a bit too far on the acceleration there, but never mind. As passing us now, we have a uh, SPT rail livery 156 that is on a service going from Edinburgh to Glasgow for central bus shots. See, we're slowly drifting into um, the yes. areas. We're on the first Scott Rail era. Oh, the DTG fifty nine is it's 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 not it's, I mean the the livery is nice and the seems to always be a thing with DTG that the um, graphic design of the trains is very good um, but the sounds are really not that good at all. And unfortunately, you know, there's, there's no um, sound pack for the fifty nine, but the fifty nines in train sim they sound more like a sh I mean they are a oh, sh I Need to do. I need to enable the similar seven seven sevens to good. Now just past Newton station we diverge um, off from the main lines towards Blantyre and we continue um, towards Oddingston, which has just popped up on our heads up display. Yeah the fifty nine insurance himself is nothing like what it does in real life. Why did Yeah, you do need to load the assets for the um, Desro City pack. Boy. And the Brighton main line as well. I've got the Brighton main line ticked. Yeah, you need to tick the class 700, 717, 707 pack as well. No That's Train Sim well. World 2 gaming. No, this is not Train Sim World 2 gaming. This is Train, sim train Simulator gaming. Which is debatably just as good. I'm not sure if my thumbnail skills are getting worse. Hmm, your thumbnails are, are very good. Um, they definitely draw a lot of attention. For example, um, your Rumford thumbnail. I mean, part of the um, thing about the video is the thumbnail. If people don't really like the thumbnail, then they don't click on the video. But your videos are evidently doing very well, and your thumbnails are doing very well as well. Are not always perfect when you're taking them, really. But, if you have to do any panels, got any like pros or trains or something for like a video you can set a thumbnail for a thumbnail. Well one thing I do for my thumbnails is um so I I, ne I never I've or I very rarely take pictures of trains um because I rec I record them on a camcorder. Um and it's very hard to get a um phone and camcorder. If there's something interesting coming through then yeah I'll take a picture of it with my phone and my camcorder at the same time. Um but um, what I usually do is um, when I'm editing in Premiere Pro, if there's a scene in the, or if there's a frame in the video that I particularly like, I'll take a screenshot of that, uh, copy it down, and then set that as my thumbnail. Okay, the seven hundred. Not, not sure why that is. This is Train Simulator 2021. What game is the Indeed. <laughs> Sorry for the e you keep. Yeah, this is Train Simulator 2021. For nine euros. Oh, Eleven yeah. now. That's no, ten. I'm making that now. Class one of four six five. Class one. Four six five dash ones, you mean? Four six five one XX series. CP trains, that is a good tool to use. You would be crap trains related to 2021. Never south east, I'm a bit curious what this is. And my camera's moving by itself. It's a glitch. Alright, we're shortly approaching uh, Marvel Station, we do need to uh, start slowing down. 
I believe that's how it's pronounced, Movel, not Motherwell. Yeah, he's had it. Who's looking forward to the first broadcast on the Tinsley Mall 2? Yes. Class 465-9 coming to you, um, um, Trains in World 2 as well. And um, for one, they've actually done the model work. But one quick thing I could say about it is the writing on the destination is a bit too small. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah, the destination is um, something that DTG can work on as well because they uh, slightly worded the 377 and 375 as well. They did a good job with the 395 destinations. Yes, I'm sure they'll patch it as more people um, point out. Um, I don't want to say mistakes, but the misinterpretations, let's say. What, AWS? Please. Oh, you nearly emergency break there, you Tiny, tiny bit off. I uh, hold it down the queue, so. And here we are at Movel. We've arrived here a minute early. We do have three minutes here. Um, this is to pick okay. passengers up only. One minute. It looked like you was about to overshoot the platform. Mm. I'm just being really careful because if you if we stop down there, then we have the same issue where we did with the player train derails because of the tilt angle. You can I'm see why they put the benders on it. I'm going to set up the GSMR first before I do the turn off. And this is with the um, AP6687 sound pack at, um, for which I did manage to get my hands on, despite it not you being can hear the on GSMR, sound. Can you? Just about here, yes. So if we put the train into neutral, Tell we can hear the wind down noise. On. Yeah, there's no way to turn them on. If we turn the tail lights on at the and um, we have the 87 and the, then the tow lights come on on the uh, DVT as well, there's nothing we can do about that. No. <laughs> Which is a shame, nice I think that's just a glitch. Zero. I see a 14, zero one. Welcome to Movel. Got these two platforms here, which are used for the lines that we saw earlier diverging from Newton. They go around in sort of a circle um, round through um, Hamilton and Blantyre. These are the West Coast mainline tracks here. Um, you often see them um, cross country of anti services right, coming on. Here. Mars now set up, now we can do the TMS. I just heard the GSMR thing. Have we set up the GSMR? Yeah, I've just set up the GSMR. I know we don't have we don't have the GSMR interactive in the DVT unfortunately. We, we we could turn ETS on though. If you want me to send for the destination of the AP menu for the next switch stream, I can do it for you. Oh uh, yes, that'll be good. Right here we are back in the eighty-seven. Let's now turn ETS on. Or can we do that? I should say train supply, train heat. Oh, that's just a light that illuminates. I'm not sure. If we turn it on. I think right, we can. Lights are on. Now we have destination. Paper is nice. Depends on the context. The <laughs> action. Um, yeah. I agree with you. Paper is nice, perhaps not to eat, but um, paper is nice. Yes, I agree. Well, we've got three minutes left until departure. Remember to tab with the upcoming signal after we leave Victoria because there's a signal failure. Right, we're now passing out of Marvel, um at 1451. Uh, we go direct to Carlisle from this point onwards. I think after Motherwell we will see three mountains. Yes, we are slowly tra uh, transitioning in. I think we have just about crossed over into the 2000s. 
Mm. Just waiting for two Delta 14 to clear out the way from Victoria. What is your next stream? My next stream um, will be uh, London Bridge to London Victoria as requested by you actually. Um, which I thought was a really good idea. Um, obviously you as my community have much better ideas um, of what you want to see on my channels and what streams you want to see. Um, possibly what videos you want to see in the future from stations when we are allowed to film them again. Um, uh, so if you do have any recommendations slash train recommendations you want to see uh, then do pop them in the chat. <laughs> the acceleration of these trains is I think better than the green empties. Two kilo twelve next to me, which is going up to Dobby Pole as well, but it's going by Denmark Hill. Hello Roscoe Train 107, hello, hope you're well, hope you're doing um well. I can hear a Valanta. Not sure whether you can hear it, I can hear it just in the distance. That signals the imminent arrival of a Virgin Trains HST. I meant to do something, but I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to see if the horn doesn't get out. It's amazing how far away you can hear it. This is going from London Houston to Glasgow. Can I do Favisham to Victoria just casually doing the Dolph Hader horn? Um, yes, you can do Favisham to London Victoria and join some with the Chatham route mode. I am driving the route that I'm going for. It's from workshop. Called Run a Victoria to Dover by Fudson in 16. You can download it for free. There's a route extension. Um, it's a freeware route extension um, by Danny. Danny does a lot of um, route mergers. Um, I'm sure you um, like many of them. Um, and one in particular you can drive from Raynham Kent to Raynham Essex, which is quite funny. Um, the Sittingbourne branch comes with it. You do. Uh, Need the requirements for that? Um, are the uh, well? Look, they're on a Steam Workshop page. Indeed. Um, the limit of the scenery is Faversham. However, it means you can drive from uh, Victoria to Faversham. Um, all the way. Do, you have, do, do have a look at his workshop because he does a lot of interesting, he does a North London and Goblin one as well, he does a, I um, can't remember, but just have a look, he does a lot of interesting stuff. Right, let me just get the thing up so I can place in chat because I've actually got it from the video. Right. Unfortunately, it's between right, Faversham and Dover Priory there is no scenery, it's just a um, piece of track where you're going um, around green stuff. I'm going to see if I can share the link. You can actually do a service from Long Victoria to Seven Oaks and Tunbridge Wells, as, as well as Maystone East. Oh, so you can go all the way down there as well. I didn't know that you could do that. So you can go all the way from Victoria to Seven Oaks. Which I'm not sure happens in real life, but. You could, you could, I mean, it'll be nice to take um, the line from London Bridge as well, hopefully. Oh, it, it, does it include the South London network as well, that route merge? Um, where you think What do you mean? Um, there's a route called the South London network, is that included in the um, Dover route merge as well? Um, not too sure about that one. I'm 
trying to see if I can copy the link. Can I go up to 95 miles an hour? We get up to a full line speed of 110 miles an hour after Costes. Which is in just over, just under 10 miles time. But we are making very good progress. I'm trying to copy the link, but... Just bear with me a minute. Yeah, the reason why I'm going really gentle on the throttle is because of the tap danger on the 86. If you, for example, if you just pushed it to 100% um, of power for um, too long, then the tap danger will fail. Or will it? Right. I think that's the term for it. it will just fail. I made a look at the description. It says it combines the chatting main and memory value lines to run them to Fabson and Chinas once again. It also includes Fabson to Dover as well as Orpington slash Formula 2 tangles. Yep, no Victoria to Seven Oaks IRL. And you probably can't even do London Bridge to Seven Oaks either because it doesn't include the South London you network. You can do London Bridge to Seven Oaks. Yeah, it doesn't exist in real life. They only go as far as Orpington, and you can do you can do that over the normal Chatham main line. There was also a really good um, route extension from Tum not Tum from Tum yeah from Tunbridge um, down to Hastings. Um, it's called the 1066 line by Backdated Train Sim. Uh, complete with scenery, you get the route from Tunbridge um, down to Hastings. It's got quite a long list of requirements though, so uh, do have a look at it. Can you send me the link for that? I might be interested in that. The 1066 line. Yeah. Uh, yes. You can only drive it between Tunbridge and Hastings. Can't drive it any fine. further than that, fortunately. Alright, oh, where have you gone past? We just went past Colloc, didn't we? So. Yeah, we haven't got as far as, as, far as um, Carl's goes yet, I don't think. Not quite. You're going to hear a very loud car bug in there. Even though there's no guard thing, but I just want nothing. I just want to imagine there's a garden. Due to a poor signal failure just outside the platform of Long Victoria, you will need to turn the fast signal at the end of the course to see that the strip to the speed of 10 of the course of the signal then the time of the time is very unsupported with the signal bar. And the signal. Oh, that would be an interesting idea. A diverted service. Should we? Oh, yes, it could divert by a tumbush, couldn't it? I think you can do one of the two or two tumbush. No, no. I think you can, but again, I don't think that service runs in real life. Does London Victoria to Tunbridge Wells run in real life? I know there's a service that does Tunbridge Wells, but I have a I think that one stops at Charing Cross, or maybe, um, or maybe you're right. I doubt it's Cannon Street. I'll have a look. Passing us now is our first Pendo of the day. This is in the uh, Virgin Trains uh, original silver livery that they were de um, delivered in. I'm going to talk to the board. So there's no terminal board. I was Clegg on level crossing and we are now passing Lanark Junction where the line to Lanark diverges off. Victoria to Tunbridge yes, doesn't happen in real life either, okay? Long chain cross Hastings. You could do it from Tunbridge to Hastings. Yes, indeed you could. 
well, I need to slow it down because I've got a signal, even though the next signal up ahead is green. I'll do this one, so I need to set down to 10 miles an hour. So I don't want to do TWS to go off, and that's what it's called. TPWS I think is simulated on the London Brighton route, so if you go for a red signal um, in or if you go for a red signal in standard scenario mode at over two miles an hour, uh, then the, the emergency brakes will trip. I've done my for a timetable. Oh yes, I remember <laughs> that delivery. Way I back in 2010. Me, that's going to sell the next one. I remember seeing that livery at Edinburgh a few times. Now passing Costairs. You're actually passing on the platform itself. That's per usual. Right, once I pass this signal, I can proceed to 10 miles an hour. Costairs. This is where the scenery just gets better and the speed limit gets higher. I'm going to risk it and go for the scenery and see what I can do. Oh, I'm going to go for Have you done many southeastern IRL videos? Um, I, the last time I filmed on the southeastern network was on the 19th of August when I went round Ashford, Rochester, etc. Um, but um, I quite I have a I ha I do have a trip planned on the southeastern network that I quite like to do. Um, hopefully, um, as soon as we can, or as soon as we're allowed to. Um, I'm planning on filming at London Bridge, Beckenham Junction, among other places uh, in South London because I feel like I haven't really touched South London very much, um, and I quite like to get a bit more action down there. Including this year's yearly dose of Clapham Junction unfortunately we couldn't do it in 2020 for because of unforeseen circumstances but um, we'll try and get it in this year, we'll definitely have a Clapham Junction video so last time I filmed on the South Eastern Metro was yeah, 2019 I think filmed at a few places London Bridge I went to twice, New Cross I've been to twice but only filmed there once. But yeah, Beckenham Junction, that sort of area. Uh, Denmark Hill, another good station. I mean, it doesn't, Denmark Hill doesn't have the best views but it has quite a lot of variety. And we are still climbing. Movie. Filming local is just so underrated. If you put your mind to it, you can get um, lots of um, interesting stuff from the local lines. I've just come back. From, I've just come back from Grange Park Railway Station, which is a, a small, unstaffed station. Um, that has, um, I think, I only saw one other passenger there. I think two more at most, but they're both they're both train spotters because um, there were uh, diversions on the East Coast Main Line. Um, so everything that should have been going up the East Coast Main Line was going along the Hartford Loop today, so that led to some interesting movements and also quite a lot of tones as well. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear. If 
very bumpy, I'm not sure whether that's the train or the route itself. Yeah, the train is pushing itself forward a bit more because there's slack between the loco at the rear and then us at the front. There is a bit of slack, so we do uh, get an occasional jolt when we increase power. You might feel it. Just like that. Right, we've just gone past the Symington um, crossovers. We are now very close to the um, rail cam at Fankerton. I'll point you. I'll point out to you the exact location of where it is. Passing us now, we have another um, 87 hauled um, Virgin train service. Oh, that loco sounded nice. And we have the Virgin Pretender League no different coaches as well. The Fankerton rail cam we just passed on our left. Where's your scenario going, Josh? There. Okay. Will you do more Roblox streams? I would really like to do another Roblox stream because um, I didn't really get around to doing all the requests last time and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so let's say in this week, um, let's say on Friday this week, we'll do another Roblox stream. Uh, yeah, I quite like to do them more often, and particularly seeing now as uh, Stepford County Railway has just had um, quite a big change to it. Uh, and also playing a few other railway games uh, on Roblox because some of the work on them is just absolutely amazing. Really? I test I tested this. I tested this. I literally tested this. Oh uh, dear, that's really annoying. I tested it the entire way, I did not expect this to happen. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. We have to find something that starts at Bitook. That's not working. Yeah, it's annoying. I need to... I'm not sure what's wrong with it as well, which is annoying. Still trying to find something we can drive along the Swiss mainland south. Blah blah blah, blah from Glasgow Central to Carlisle. Do we start from. Uh, nope. about this. Yeah, why not? Let's drive it over 90. But the weird thing is that I tested this, I, I tested this scenario out yesterday and it worked throughout, all the way down to Carlisle and it worked absolutely fine.
So we're going with one of the stock Armstrong powerhouse scenarios now that I'm actually work without something um, potentially terrible going. West Coast Main Line South, out now. So if that hasn't been punched into our brains for half a year. West Coast Main Line South has been out since what? The end of August 2020, or the beginning of August? It's been out since at least September. Uh, right here we are at the um, other end. We're here at uh, Carlisle's platform one. Fancy West Coast indeed. We do have a 90 as well, which is very nice. The cab of the 90 is completely identical. Come on, DST. Shush. Turn the DRA off. Headlights on, marker lights also go on. Whoops. It's a bit of a stiff lever, there we go. At the front um, we have 90004 City of Glasgow uh, and at the rear we have a DVT which is 82137, the same one we were driving. So we will drive this um, 90 as far as Bittuk. Carlisle's looking a bit empty today, isn't it? I suppose because it's the evening. I'm sure AP scenarios do have their secrets. to depart we don't need to worry about um any jolt um i mean we probably do need to worry about jolt as well for the rear carriages as well this is one of the direct services to glasgow Hobble digger sound again. Yeah, I'll never get my head round train simulator, I'll never get round all the signalling and how it functions just about works
I mean, I, I, one thing I always make sure to do is I always make sure to put trains a signal block apart. But sometimes you still seem to let trains through. I think the reason why was yesterday I started it from the scenario editor. Uh, and today I just started it from the main menu. So perhaps when I start things in the scenario editor they actually uh, function properly. That could be an interesting thought. Itself, uh, um, train simulator scenarios will load differently depending on um, how you load them. <laughs> is um, a slight problem already, isn't it? Now passing Carlisle Kingmore Yard, which is on our left. It's something I will um, always continue to do in the future is to load scenarios from the scenario editor rather than the main menu because you can obviously see that it causes problems. In the class 66. Oh, oh, I was just called Yard, okay. Got a various assortment of wagons. Got the line from Brunto, which is just joining us from our left now. This is a freight train, and I've got another Earth Class 66. It's going from Air to Ironbridge PS. Doing what appears to be some JHA hoppers. As we continue racing around um, 100 miles now. Bush on esque level crossing, we can continue um, straight through this way. You're now very close to the Scottish border. It's 
skies in this are very blue. It's in like unrealistically bit, it's almost like a purple shade of blue, isn't it? Right, there is the um, long-term MOD junction. And then we continue straight, obviously, along the Moscow's main line. And right, here is Gretna Junction, where we cross into Scotland. There is all the lines diverging um, off to the left to uh, go to Glasgow Central via uh, Dumfries. Oh, we do have a 95, which I forgot about. Let's just slow down for that. Shortly be approaching Quinton's Hill loops. A few freight loops um, for freight trains to go into. So we have a Voyager passing us now, going from Edinburgh to Manchester Airport. I doubt the Voyagers ever went to uh, Manchester Airport. Did the Voyagers go to Manchester Airport? In the um, Virgin Cross Country days? Actually, they're using a modern-day timetable. Back up to 100 miles an hour. That was the marker is for Cove level crossing, which we are now just passing.
Right, now going over the Kirtle Bridge um, emergency crossovers. As we keep climbing to some more beautiful scenery. Perhaps for my scenarios in the future it might just be a good idea to add um, static AI or at least for um, scenarios that I'm uh, doing for our weekly streams I might just make them a static AI or at least AI that don't um, cause over any junctions or go for any loops etc because the signalling in TS is a bit broken sometimes you do have to work around it Unfortunately, it's something we have to live with. Well, I look to things that doesn't look like Train Simulator um, or Dovetail Games uh, has any plans to uh, improve the signaling system in Train Simulator. Their plans have um, sort of drifted more into Train Sim World now, which I do respect them for because Train Sim World um, is also a really great game. Whoops, that wasn't a level crossing, it looked like one. It was, but it wasn't a passenger level crossing, so we don't need to sound the horn to go for it. The West Coast Mainline North is a really well developed route. It's a shame about the suburban Glasgow being um, unavailable for a short period of time. I mean, it is, it is available now, but it's only available as a route merge of the um, uh, Springburn to Helensburg route, which is um, um, Bottle Trinson. And that's actually made by Rivet Games, not DTG. I'm not sure whether they just borrowed the whole thing off um, Keith M. Ross or they um, uh, started the route again from scratch. Uh, but that's why they had to take Suburb and Glasgow off. But it just had so it was it had so many rear extensions as well. That's why I miss it so much. Not very far at all from Lockerbie now. And you can see um, the Lockerbie down main has just popped into our heads up display. We have a yellow signal, which I'm slightly worried about. We don't have a feather either. Right, next signal is yellow, so we don't need to worry about it yet. Let's 
Still don't have a feather. Oh, the next signal after this is red. Yep. Oh no, it's not red anymore. Okay. Fair enough. Do you need to be careful there. Let's proceed at half of line speed. So we don't um, accidentally run into the uh, problem. AI. Is, is it actually an AI that's ahead of us? That would be an interesting question, I'm sure. I'm sure Powerhouse know what they're doing because. Oh, uh, yes, there is. London Paddington to Glasgow Central. Why? Wait, London Paddington? Yeah, well, London Paddington to Glasgow Central. Why? And now we're stuck behind it. Why did they put AI in front? Right, if his next signal is double yellow, then um, we will slowly proceed back up to the line speed. But that AI must have literally been placed at Lockerbie. Right, we've got a green now. I am going to be a bit cautious, so we'll stick it around 90, though. Alright. Oh, yeah, you went quiet for quite some time. Sorry. Yeah, in the meantime, the scenario crashed. I know, I, t I tested that out yesterday. And it worked absolutely fine all the way down to Carlo, but I tried it again today. And then uh, we have problems. I think it's because yesterday I launched it from the scenario editor, but today um, we launched it from the main menu, so that could be a thing. Um, launching it from the scenario editor always helps things. Everything was working fine, it was working absolutely fine. We had no errors whatsoever. I mean, I, if there is an error, I always try to get rid of it. But trains him still thinks that two trains tra excuse me, two trains will um, collide with each other. I think train him there doesn't recognize what we're trying to do with the AI. To be honest, I don't know, that could be one theory, or is it? Or it's were you made to know is this AI heavy, which is better than Um... Well, I make to is less AI heavy. Paddington. Oh, like the... oh, that one. Yeah. I don't problem. think it'll make any difference, really. But... Can you give it a go, really? You tried to do the one from Crystal. Didn't even make it out of the yeah, because it's just well, the game, well, that was the game itself crash, not the scenario. I, I couldn't even get to see whether the scenario worked properly. I mean, it depends what service you're doing at the time of the day, because there's some services that you don't make, never see out of Paddington, but I think it's like a weekend service where it's like less busy. I think it's mainly like eight days, but 
GWR sometimes do a non-stop blue east in Warbury. Over the one three crossovers. Are we still in the DB2? Uh, no, we're in the 90. Because, um, uh, yeah, the scenario failed. So we had to start again. Which is which is very odd because it worked fine yesterday. And that's what I was saying. I think it was because I launched it from the scenario editor yesterday, but I launched it from the main menu today. So I think there might be a difference in how I'll train some of those things. something that they really do need to fix. I will, I will guarantee for you that um, next week's scenario we will, we will not have any crashes, anything like that. I will, um, I will guarantee if I will guarantee I'll create two scenarios just in case, one with AI and one without AI. Do you like the idea of streaming the streamlining like GA are doing and watching something? Then? No, no, super change just put in chat. Do you like the idea of streamlining? Fleet streamlining. Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean by fleet streamlining. I should see if the fence is putting chat a bit hard for myself. What do you mean by fleet streamlining? What do you mean by that? Super trains, like, like hardly having any type of trains. Um, if we talk from sort of an engineering perspective, then it's a lot easier to maintain trains because you've got less trains to work on. So, um, for example, teams will have a better idea of failures, etc. It also means that um, drivers will be able to do be more flexible with their runs because they'll. Um, only need to know one type of train. Um, however, from um, it says from a train spotter's perspective, um, it's um, it's not a good thing because obviously you don't have um, that much variety. Um, personally, I prefer it um, with um, all the variety because it um, really get, um, brings the main line some character and some variety. I totally get why they're doing it.
Well, that's interesting. There's two one seven two. Is that Bill Depot? Hmm. Yeah, one seven two is again. One seven two double six and double eight. Double eight. I haven't seen since twelve years on London Overground. Double six has been at Elford for quite some time. It went down a few weeks ago, didn't it? That's right yeah. past Watford Rail Camp. Twelve car trains or three times four car trains? Um, I have a definite answer for that one. Uh, three times four car trains. And that is a um, agreement. Um, it's a win-win situation for both the train spotter's perspective and the engineering perspective. Um, First of all, if you have um, a fleet of four car trains, um, then you have much better flexibility with them, so you can build um, consists that are uh, four cars, eight cars, twelve cars, sixteen cars, whatever you like. Um, uh, but with twelve car trains, you can't do that. Also, um, <laughs> with uh, three four car trains, if they're all together, also means we can tick more of them off. to Josh's call because I think the call has failed again. Excuse me a minute. There we go, that's a message calling sound. Hello? You there? How are we dial? Hello? Hello? No, there you are. Sorry, the messenger app spazzed out and made the call end. Uh -huh. That's what happened. Typical messenger, I'm going to I'm going back to the phone here, see if I can place the line back. It's been since 700. We're still climbing. Um, until the summit of the line at the Atik Summit. I'm thinking of the school. I sometimes have one of the systems that I'm looking for. I need to place a platform on this is from St. Norton City to Sutton. That's it as well. To Lockwood right. Junction. Oh, now it's spawning again. Oh, the 700 is now spawning in. Alright, okay, something must have happened with it. I wish you have no idea what to do with the store. When I tried to get close to him, it was invisible. Still climbing, we're climbing roughly one meter every 75 meters of travel. Never we in Carlisle. Oh, we're going towards Glasgow now actually because I couldn't find this now yet. I'm stuck some bit. Um, so we'll finish the stream um, as soon as we or we'll actually stop at car, car stairs. When do one seventies and voyages go Ilford of all places in the UK? Um, I I really have no idea why they go there. I can't see why they just can't get maintained at Tysley. I think it's like like the garbage or the players. No, she's going for heavy maintenance. I think Ilford, um, now being of all the adventures, um. Possibly, maybe they have like an official Bombardier facility there, and because the turbos and Voyagers are made by Bombardier, they may go there for like I mean, checkups, etc. The core, um, um, the Which, 
I mean, I don't know why they have to do it at Wilson. I'm not sure whether it's Bombardier's head and um, maintenance facility. I'm sure there's another one somewhere. I think that's um, old Dolby, but maybe I think that's just the test track I'm thinking of. Right, nine Oscar. Thamesing, no, Thamesing go to Sutton all the time. No, I mean like, the, um, no. Oh Nationalisation or privatisation? Privatisation. And then make it come into Harlem as we cross through the station. No, actually, nationalisation. Yeah, I think nationalisation. Absolute junction. Back in it. Yeah. It comes in here. Yeah, it goes through Harlem Hill, doesn't it? And uh, so I am planning a South London trip um, to do soon. Uh, do, you, do any of you have any uh, rec possible recommendations for uh, stations that you know are good for filming at in South London? Um, if you do, then that will be greatly appreciated. If you put them down in the chat below. Yeah, because I have a rough idea, but I want to um, everyone else's opinion to see what um, station they think are uh, nice to film at. Uh, is Bodsby level crossing? I think all stations on the East London line are good, as Penge West was good. Oh, yes, the East London line has some very some stations with very good views. Um, I filmed at Newcrossgate before. I haven't filmed any uh, further south on the um, East London line, but yes, yeah, so the East London line um, that is definitely a possibility. And anything between Brixton and Orpington are probably good. It's good to know. But yeah, I would I would definitely um you're talking about the Southeastern Metro services, I would really like to film on the Southeastern network again. So yes. I have to go for dinner. Alright, that's fine. I'll chat to you a bit later. Alright. Alright. So we've got a freight service passing us, that's going from Los End to Wembley. Beckenham Junction is on my list. Um, and you put the East London line on my list. I didn't really have that considered. Um, but yes, that is that is a very good idea. Another station I've got in mind is Queenstown Road Battersea, um, which is one of the um, only few stations where you can see um, all three of the main um, train operators um, in South London. South Western Railway, Southern and South Eastern, you can see them all from Queenstown Road Battersea Station. So that will be um, <laughs> very much an interesting station to go to. Uh, it's just, it's, it, will, it will definitely keep me busy, very busy. Uh, Wimbledon, Clapham Junction of course. Uh, Mitcham Junction I've heard good things about as well. And finally Beckenham Junction, so I could do like a day on the tram. Because I haven't been on the tram in years. Petswood and Orpington are pretty good. I 
consider that. I will definitely consider that. I filmed at Chislehurst before. Chislehurst is quite a nice station. Well, I haven't filmed there, but I have been there. I'm sure you'll get more at Petswood and Orpington from, uh, for example, South East and Sub Service System from London Victoria. Yeah, I agree with your point about the smaller stations being better, because larger stations tend to have more uh, buildings and blocky things in the way that um, um, it's more structured to film at, and then you can't get um, a large um, coverage of the, all the lines at the same time. For example, that's one of the um, problems with Clapham Junction. It's a great, great station, but it's hard to get all the coverage at once, partially because it's so busy. Also, because it's got lots of buildings in the way. Oh, that was a that must have been a really good day. These cores not quite like to um, redo. Because I did I did have a video I recorded from the end of 2020, 2019. But I'm not too happy with it because um, I feel like I moved around a bit too much. I'm going to say we're in yellows again. Let's just coast for a bit. Ah, you did a um, review of the trams. <laughs> Tram review. This is Abington. I quite like to film the trams as well, they've got the... Um, what company are the new trams made by? I want to say Stadler, but I don't think it is. Oh no, the Flexity Swifts, the new ones, that look really nice and sound very nice. Um, I quite like to um, have a film with those as well. Possibly a tram veg day as well. Wait till we um, um, exit out of this lockdown. I'm sure um, plans will be announced tomorrow. Um, Stadler Area Bound. That's it. That's it. That's the name of it. Sunset. The problem with being in lockdown is you just plan, plan, plan. You have so many trips in, you, in your head thinking, well, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, but you know that you can't do them all. It'll be, it'll be foolish to just do everything as soon as lockdown starts. I think I'd stop. Uh, wow, look how much we're shaking. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Um, yeah, it'll be foolish to um, just start filming as soon as uh, lockdown ends. Um, hopefully, we'll be out of lockdown by the Easter holidays. I really hope we are. Um, And then we can come to South London, which I've heard many, many good things about. And also I quite like to do another trip to South End, because South End is very nice. I'd quite like to do some veg as well around there. I want to do Cricklewood and then North London Line for freight. Um, I've never done a um, freight video on the North London Line. I very rarely film on the North London Line, but um, you do occasionally get the odd 90. Um, coming through. Uh, 
and Cricklewood is very nice as well. Um, I actually stood at the northern end of the station, but the southern end of the station there are no barriers and you can get very good views. I think the schools will um, bring the rates up again, yeah. I reckon they probably will do. People are speculating that um, non essential travel will be um, allowed um, from mid March. But um, we'll all know tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, the edge to my thing. Good. There's a little message that comes up occasionally. Yes. Barriers can be a problem for the train spotter. Alright, where are we? Oh, we're right the way up there, so we are nearly um, back our stairs. I'm just having a look where we are. So we're near Simington. So we're near where the scenario crashed last time. Yep, here is Simington. I do plan to make my scenarios less AI intensive. You know, I try to make them optimised as possible um, to get rid of any uh, lag, for example. Starting AI as late as possible um, so that we do still see them. Um, um, so that they, um, you haven't got like, tons of AI moving at the same time which will cause its problems. And have also any have any of you heard of this um, game called NIMBY Rails? Um, I installed it a few weeks ago. It's a really fun game. Um, it's basically this game where you um, start with a blank canvas, or you or not with a blank canvas. You start with um, the base template of a world map, and you can place railways anywhere you like on it um, and run. Uh, train services, or whatever you want to call them, um, on said railways. But you can, yeah, you can literally build them anywhere you like. And it's really fun. And your aim is to make money by balancing out passenger satisfaction and building sustainable lines, etc. I heard of NIMBY, I thought it was a short hype. Yeah, it was released at the end of January. Um, I don't think very many um, people uh, have heard of it, but it's a really, really good game. I got it while it was still in beta testing, when it was um, still free. I really do recommend it. It's now £14.99 on the Steam store, but it is well worth it. It is a brilliant game. A very good shot. It'll be interesting to see on the channel because I, um, 
um, I haven't seen very many videos of them, so, um, for 707s in Southeastern Territory, so that'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see. Oh, we have, we've, we're literally stuck at 110 and we could go. Oh, we're literally stuck at 100, we could have gone at 110, but we can't anymore, unfortunately. Anyway, we're now very close to car stairs, I think. Yeah, we are quite close. So I'm going to begin to slow down. We will be going on the down main, not the platform itself. So we'll just stop actually uh, and stop going on the down main. There it is. Ah yes, we had lots of great shots of snow, didn't we? Oh, you got lucky to see that as well. That usually does services around Westbury as well. Rare to see that coming into London territory, and you got very you were very lucky to see it. Fifty nine double oh three. I do like the livery on that one. Alright, as we come into Costas, I'd just like to say thank you very much for um, watching this video. Um, apologies again for the uh, crash, which I guaranteed would not happen. Uh, but next week, um, I will make sure, I will make sure to the absolute standard that we will not have um, any train sim crashes whatsoever. It was out of Tunbridge, and then it came back early to Tunbridge, I didn't see it, and then it was being tracked to Eastley. Not sure. Maybe it failed. Next week, internet crashes. <laughs> oh, I have had that problem once before on a train sim stream. Let's not let that happen again. Oh, the squeal from the 90s is horrible. There we go, that just about concludes today's stream. I really hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.